Hi guys and welcome to another Divi tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well today we're going to be using the Divi Supreme modules to create a pop-up that pops up when you load the page and it'll automatically disappear eight seconds later if I refresh this page. I've given it a two second delay and there it is and it should disappear after about eight seconds that's what I've got it set for there we go and that's a great little feature to have on your site that's certainly going to grab people's attention and it's really easy to do with the supreme modules so let's get started first thing I'm going to do is enable the visual builder and once loaded I'm going to undo what I've done to make that pop up which I actually triggered it on this module here and it doesn't matter which module you use so I'm just going to undo this there we go okay so I'm going to save my changes now to make this work today once you've got Divi Supreme Pro installed go down to Divi Supreme Pro make sure on the you're on the general settings tab and we need to have enable Divi pop-up switched to on so it's purple like that once you switch it on save your changes and we're good to go so let's go back to our site now now the first thing we need to do is actually create the module that we want to pop up and you can create it anywhere because we're going to delete it again afterwards so let's just get a new module here Simplicity, I'm just going to use a blurb module. You can use any module you want to. Mine's just going to be a notification. And I'm just going to leave everything just like it is pretty much there. I'm going to use an icon. And I'll use an exclamation mark. There we go, just like that. That's absolutely fine. I get this out of the way you can see and it's put it in there I've got my default color for this site set to that sort of hot pink color so that's why it's that color okay well let's just style this a little bit I'm gonna give it a background color first I'll give it a just plain blue background let's go to my design tab icons pretty much fine as it is the text I want that to be in the center I want it to be light in color so you can see it against that blue background now my title, I'm just going to hover over the little paintbrush for the title there or you can go down the title text, whichever works for you. I'm going to make it bold and huge. So let's make it bold. I'll make it capital too. Now let's make it as big as we dare. Something like that. And last but not least, let's just give it a bit of padding all around and give it a bit of space. So I'm going to go down spacing going to give it 50 pixels all around just put in the 50 it'll put in the pixels for you or if you prefer to use percentage or something else you can just select the px and type in whatever value you choose okay so I'm happy with that that's what I want to pop up so let's save this and to make this work we need to save this module to our library to do that just hover over the module tab the dark tab right here Hit the little circular icon between the clone and the trash can there and that will give you the option to save it to your library. I guess I'll call it attention. Not going to make it global. I'm going to save it to my library. Now it's saved to my library. I can trash it, get rid of it because I don't want it sitting there on the site okay so we're pretty much good to go there now to make it pop up remember you have to have this switch on it will not work unless you have that switch enabled we can choose any module uh, I'm not going to use a global because that will make it happen on other pages as well so I'll just use this module same as I did last time So I'm going to go into the module I'm going to go to advanced and visibility and because we flipped that little switch on earlier on we've now got a button in all of our modules that says use pop-up I'm going to flip that one to on pop-up type yeah I want it to pop up a layout the layout that I've just saved 
You can choose other things, iframes, images, videos, etc. We've done videos on those in the past. And let's choose the pop-up we want to pop up. And I call it attention, I believe. It should be in here somewhere. Ah, okay, I don't see it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna save this. Save the page changes because we haven't refreshed the page since we actually saved it to the library, so it doesn't know it's there yet. Now I can refresh once I've saved it. Once the build is reloaded, let's go down to where we were on this little module right here. Go back in there and we'll go back to advanced visibility. We've got our pop up enabled. Let's choose the pop up that we want now. It should appear in our list now. There it is at the bottom. Attention. OK. Now I want it to trigger on page load. That's great. It's you can trigger it on module click, button click, image click, hyperlink, page load, which is what we want, scroll, or exit intent. Exit intent is when somebody goes up to close the browser. That's a really useful one too. So page load's the one I want here. You can use as a cookie consent if you want to, for people consenting for you to use cookie cookies on your site, which is great. Close pop-up triggers outside pop-up. Or close button. I'm going to put it on close button and then I'm going to disable the close button so they, the only way it can disappear is on a timer. So I'm going to use auto close pop-up. I'm going to say close auto close pop-up. I'm going to say yeah eight seconds will do. I think the default when you load it in here is five seconds so yeah let's put it up to 8 seconds is good time delay is set to 0 normally when you come in here I'm going to put mine up to 2 seconds so it'll pop up after 2 seconds now the cookie is expiry I think the default's 30 but if you want it to pop up every time they visit the page just put that to 0 which I'm going to do and you've got all kind of entrance animations and exit animations to choose from. Let's have bounce and exit. Let's use zoom out down. How's that? Okay. Pop up position type is absolute. That's absolutely fine because we want it right in the middle there and if they're scrolling that's where we want it to stay don't want it to be full width the default width is fine for me change that if it doesn't work for you yep we do want to show an overlay and we don't want to show a close button I think that's on by default and you can choose where you show it so I'm going to turn that one off and I think we're good to go so let's save this save our page changes and exit the visual builder and when the page reloads our pop-up should pop up after about two seconds and there it is and it should disappear after eight seconds there we go and that's a great little feature to have on your site so well done at Divi Supreme modules that's another great little module you've got going there. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.